with issues between them going back almost two years since their feud in early 1999 which eventually led to Kimberly Page leaving the company. The heat between Scott Steiner and Dallas Page escalated again in the past week and reached new heights on the night, as with Steiner shooting on Kimberly in a WCW website audio interview that had to be heavily edited a few months back with her already out of the company, Page who was scheduled to face Steiner in a main event house show match last weekend, refused to work with Steiner to lead to the company calling Nash to replace him on short notice. With Steiner's response coming tonight in a shoot promo on Page that saw him calling him out despite having no storyline connection to him telling Flair to send him back down to the Bush Leagues as he doesn't have the balls to face him, leading to Page waiting to confront Scott backstage immediately after the promo that resulted in a brief altercation that saw Steiner taking him down and almost taking Page's eye out if not for security and wrestlers separating them within seconds. With Page despite being scheduled to be involved on the show in an angle against the thrillers and work a match on the Thunder taping an hour later, leaving the building immediately following the incident along with tag partner Nash to cause major changes to the live broadcast while it was already 30 minutes on the air, with Steiner continuing his planned angle for tonight with him appearing all over the show including a backstage interview with Luger and Bagwell minutes after the fight took place. With all the focus on the legit Steiner vs Page fight, the chaos backstage on Nitra started already before going on the air as a day after headlining the Starcade pay-per-view against Steiner, Seed who was reportedly scheduled to be involved on the show tonight didn't show up with conflicting reports on his status for the next few weeks, with the actual television show outside the reality show that was going in the background starting with Ric Flair announcing a tournament for Steiner's next challenger at the Sin pay-per-view on January 14, while teasing another mystery partner for the show which due to the TV scheduling over the next three weeks would have barely any build-up on Nitro with its next Monday night show coming already six days from the pay-per-view. Having the first tournament match with Rey Mysterio vs Lance Storm going 6 minutes in the final quarter of the first hour with Storm going over to advance, while minutes later opening the first opposed quarter at 9pm with Mike Awesome vs Jeff Jarrett going 5 minutes to open the hour with a 2.1 rating and set up Jarrett vs Storm for the main event. With Vince McMahon back as the top heel at the center of all TV storylines with him closing SmackDown last Thursday laughing at the news of Linda taken to a hospital after a nervous breakdown, Vince opened Raw for the follow-up promo saying that his reaction was misinterpreted as he was deeply saddened over the news, putting the blame on Foley and Stephanie for pushing him which led to him asking for divorce saying that starting tonight he's gonna make things right personally and professionally with him asking his attorney to temporarily stop the divorce proceedings until Linda gets better, followed by him showing a special video package of his history with Linda with pictures of the family over the years, as after drawing its highest rating in the TNN era last Monday, momentum didn't carry over to tonight with Raw again opening at one of the lowest opening quarters in years with a 4 rating. With the sale of the company imminent perhaps the biggest indication of the current standing of WCW in the Time Warner Turner broadcasting hierarchy which was problematic even during the company's peak run, was the major scheduling issues over the next three weeks of television which would see Nitro preempted and only coming back to Monday night on January 8, 2001, giving the company a major blow in building any kind of momentum for the next month after already being taken out of its regular time slot last Monday, with the only first-run programming after tonight set to be a Thunder taping on January 3. After initially showing sympathy for Linda's condition Vince again turned on her and Stephanie saying that he was forced to marry her and didn't want to do it 
bringing out Kurt Angle teasing going after McMahon before siding with him against Stephanie with Mick Foley out next to confront Vince and Angle saying that Vince is the lowest form of scum he has ever seen, leading to Angle responding that Foley should not talk about parenting with him letting his kids watch him almost get killed in the ring referring to the Rumble 99 scene in the Behind the Mat movie ending up with Foley booking Angle to defend the title tonight against Vince McMahon in the main event, with Raw after one of the lowest starts of the year at a 4 rating, gaining throughout the segment going to its first commercial break 23 minutes into the show at the conclusion of the Foley-Vince and Angle segment which picked up over a million viewers to a 4.7 rating in the second quarter. With Paige and Nash leaving the building an hour ago following the Steiner altercation, Mike Sanders and the Full Thrillers group came out for a promo originally set to involve an angle against Nash and Paige, with Sanders instead cutting a general promo putting over the Thrillers before booking another Thrillers vs Nash and Paige tag titles match for the Sin pay-per-view, bringing out Flair responding to Sanders by booking a six-team battle royal for the number one contender instead with Nitro after staying in the same rating range for most of the opposed hour, having its only viewership jump of the night during the quarter which saw the Thrillers Flair segment and Bagwell and Goldberg's entrance is picking up around 400,000 viewers back to a 2.1 rating, while at the same time Raw had Chris Benoit vs Jeff Hardy going 4 minutes for the IC title with Benoit going over to retain followed by a series of backstage segments building up to the Angle vs McMahon main event, along with Foley booking a big tag titles match with Edge and Christian defending against Rock and Taker. The promoted Goldberg vs Bagwell match opened the final quarter with the match ending before it started with Luger attacking Goldberg, with Nitro as it did for most of the hour maintaining a 2.1 rating with no drops or bumps no matter what was on the show, followed by Jarrett and Storm going 5 minutes with Jarrett going over, as with the tease of a potential Steiner Flair confrontation drawing a big number 2 weeks ago. The company went to it again on the night with Steiner coming out to close the show saying that Flair's time is up before going to find him backstage, ending up with him being attacked by the mystery opponent as Nitro went off the air for the last time for the next three weeks. The Edge and Christian vs Rock and Undertaker tag titles match was set to start at the top of the hour, while minutes before it Vince and Angle set the stage for their match with Vince telling Angle that he's starting to like the idea of him winning the title to get back at Foley, telling Angle to lay down and hand him the title with Kurt refusing to set up the swerve hyping a legit match between them, with the entrances for the hyped tag match of the night coming at 9.57pm with the full match set to go unopposed. As Rock was about to close 2000 with the biggest year for a wrestler in history with him breaking practically every record in industry history from pay-per-views, sell-out crowds weekly ratings and mainstream exposure while setting new milestones for the industry in Hollywood, Rock became the first wrestler in history to be named in People magazine's list of the 25 most intriguing people of the year with Rock heading into the filming of his first lead role in April making the transition from a famous wrestler to a celebrity that is also wrestling, with The Rock and Taker vs Edge and Christian tag titles match going 9 minutes to end with Rock pinning Edge to win the belts to a huge reaction, bumping Raw over 1.1 million viewers to the peak quarter of the night 5.3 rating.
with Mick Foley set for his final night as a full-time on-air character for the foreseeable future. Foley commented on the rumors of the potential Foley vs McMahon match that is currently in the plans for WrestleMania 17 after the last few weeks of them starting the build-up for it on television, saying that he would not come back unless he was in good physical shape to put on a strong performance and will need to lose at least 30 pounds from his current weight, with Foley reportedly offered the match against Vince for the pay-per-view with a chance at another huge payday working second from the top in the biggest money event in industry history, with Raw after the big star power tag match continuing with the high-profile matches with Steve Austin vs William Regal being placed in the middle of the second hour, going five minutes to a DQ finish followed by Austin laying out both Regal and the referee in a match which saw a rebounding over 500,000 viewers from a 4.9 to 5.2 rating between 10.30 to 45. Angle and Vince came out at 10.56 for the main event with Vince for the third straight week being placed in the main event segment in the overrun, starting the match with Foley on commentary distracting Angle to lead to Vince taking Angle down with him putting it over Big saying that he wants to thank Foley for booking the match as they just watched Vince McMahon scoring two points on an Olympic gold medalist, with Vince seconds later attacking Foley with the microphone followed by Angle joining him to reveal the plan with Angle Vince Edge and Christian laying out Foley in the ring, bringing out Stephanie to turn back revealing documents from the board of directors that put Vince back in full control of the company with Linda in no condition to work in the hospital, with Vince in his first move back in charge firing Foley to end his six-month commissioner run and write him off TV with this segment bumping Raw over 600,000 viewers to a peak 5.4 rating, but with Raw overall dropping a full rating point from last week to a joint year-low 4.8 rating, as with the show next week coming on a holiday weekend with numbers thrown out due to the special night with no indication to the general trends, the company would hope that the usual January rebound would take place in the next few weeks.